Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, another thing that I did over the weekend is I was watching some episodes of Soul Train. Soul Train was an American soul music TV program which ran from 1971 all the way up until 2008. It was presented by Don Cornelius, who had one of those smooth black voices, and he used to introduce it every week by saying, So train, the hippest journey in America. It's very nice. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube or other streaming platforms. The early episodes, I think, were best. And I was watching Barry White and Love Unlimited. I don't know if you remember Love Unlimited. I think one of the women, because it's basically three women who sing together, one of them, I think, was married to Barry White, if I remember correctly. Is that, uh, was it Linda James or her cousin? I remember two of them were called uh, by the surname James, uh, Glodian. Yeah, Glodian James was married to Barry White. And they had a cousin, Linda James. She was in Love Unlimited as well. And the third lady uh, who uh, was another cousin. Actually, I think it was two sisters and a cousin. Yeah, there was Glodian James, Linda James and Diane Taylor. That was it, yes, yes. So two sisters, Claudia and James, Linda James and their cousin, Diane Taylor. Actually, she died in the 80s, very young, as I recall. Uh, I think she died of cancer, very sad. Um, Yeah, so Claudia was married to Barry White and Love Unlimited was his backing group. But they also had their own hits, and it's well worth looking for them in YouTube if you find them. Uh, You'll definitely find the old episodes of Soul Train. The opening credits, the opening part of the program is worth it. I mean, just to watch that is so dated, so 70s. Even if you only watch uh, Soul Train for a moment on YouTube... Watch the opening credits. Yeah, they have this black train. It's a cartoon train winding its way through the skyscrapers of America while at the same time advertising beauty products like Afro Queen uh, for um, uh, people of ethnic origin. Beautiful. It's a really nice program. So train. The Hippest Journey in America. Actually, Don Cornelius, he only died recently as well. As far as I remember, he had either Alzheimer's or dementia, and uh, he tragically died at one point, uh, I think in 2012 or around that time if I'm remembering correctly, around 10 years ago anyway, he died. But what's strange about Soul Train is it ran from 1971 all the way up until uh, 2008. And after Don Cornelius stopped presenting it, it was presented by two other actors that you might be very surprised about. Okay, so the first one is... uh, Dorian, I think it's Dorian Gray, his name. No, it's not Dorian Gray. That's um, the Oscar Wilde book, isn't it? The picture of Dorian Gray. It was Dorian Gregory. Dorian Gregory. And you'll know him because he was in Charmed. Do you remember that TV series in the 1990s with those three women who thought they were witches? Um, with Shannon Doherty, Alicia Milano, and I can't remember the other one's name. I'm not doing so well with names today, am I? 
Um, Dorian Gregory was the detective in that TV series. Uh, so yeah, he presented Soul Train for a while, and so did uh, Shemar Moore. Now this is an interesting one because Shemar Moore is that police detective from Criminal Minds. Uh, he also was in NCIS, I think. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. Yeah, two very well-known actors, uh, Shemar Moore, Dorian Gregory. They must have been very young when they were presenting Soul Train. I mean, they're, Shemar Moore was very young when he was in Criminal Minds, which was about 10 years ago now, I think. And uh, Dorian Gregory as well. Yes, there was one other host. Um, Maestro Clark was another one that used to present Soul Train. Maestro Clark's also been in loads of things in the English-speaking world, loads of movies and TV, none that I can remember off the top of my head. That just means on the hoof, you know, off the top of my head is what we say when we're trying to recall something at the moment without planning, you know. So it means that I could be wrong, but... And it's the same with on the hoof. If you do something on the hoof, it means while you're walking, you know, or while you're doing something else on the hoof without planning, okay? So you can use that in many different ways. For example, I'm recording this podcast on the hoof. I didn't do any any pre-planning for it. I just lifted up my microphone on my phone and started recording. So it's uh, on the hoof and I'm remembering these facts about Soul Train off the top of my head. Yes. So, oh, do watch Soul Train. If you love 70s music and black soul R&B or hip hop, yeah, Soul Train, the hippest show in America. Actually, it was the hippest journey in America, he used to say, not the hippest show. But those opening credits, oh yeah, you need to see it, really. So, train. Um, and you also see the audience dancing, and they're, of course, dressed in uh, 70s fashions, doing dances which are, well, long lost in history now. So, yeah, it's a pity they don't make shows with live entertainment now, isn't it? We used to have those in the UK. I can remember Wednesday night at the London Palladium. It was always live. Yeah, and they had comedians and actors there. And of course, in the Spanish-speaking world, in Mexico, they had Siempre en Domingo, always on a Sunday. And every week they had oof, the best-known acts from all over the Spanish world singing. It was a lovely uh, program. Uh, so if you if you like uh, black music, you have to watch Soul Train. Even in the op even the opening credits alone, well worth it. So yeah, Soul Train. So yes, yes, that's long gone. Uh, I think. It's probably out on DVD now as well, but I remember Barry White, Love Unlimited. The Isley Brothers also were very famous on Soul Train. And for many of these acts, it's how they became famous uh, by being on Soul Train. Um, <clears throat> I think it's quite tragic that uh, in those days and even now in some parts of the world, there are very specific programs for, for example, black people and for white people. You know, why can't we all just be the same? That would be nice, wouldn't it? But uh, anyway, it's a wonderful celebration of uh, black TV of the 70s, of black music. So if you like uh, a woman who sing, Love Unlimited is for you. I think she divorced Barry White, didn't she? They were long divorced before he died. He died in 2003. And as far as I know, uh, Glodian James is still alive. She was born, 
46, 1946, yes, she's from my parents' generation. So, uh, oh, very interesting, very interesting. He had a family as well, didn't he? Wasn't it four four children he had? Barry White, they sometimes pop up on TV talking about their parents, but I haven't seen Claudia Ann White for years. Well, I think she's Claudia Ann James. So they, they separated, but... Uh, I don't think they officially divorced. I don't think so. I'll have to check on that. Well, that's it from me. So enjoy your day. Bye.